Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today it's the January Transfer Window Special Luton Town Edition. But before I get on with today's video guys, can we drop a like, comment below the players which you think we should sign in the January Transfer Window. What positions do you think we need to recruit in? Let me know down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and guys if you'd like to become a member on my channel click the link down below You get exclusive perks if you guys want to become a member So Luton Town January Transfer Window Edition I've made this video for the last I think three or four years now You guys love it In the video I'll talk about what positions I think Luton need to recruit in And we just have like a little discussion and a little debate on what players I think Luton should sign. So let's start off with the goalkeeper department I think we're quite solid in the goalkeeper department, I don't think we need to bring in any goalkeepers. There's been rumours that we're going to be bringing in Walton. I don't think they are true. To be fair, I haven't seen many true rumours as of yet in the January transfer window so far. I wouldn't be listening to the rumours which have been mentioned on social media. A lot of them, there's not much truth in it. As I was saying, the goalkeeper department, were quite solid there. I think Harry Eisted will go out on loan from January to the end of the season unless any big injuries happen to Sluga or Shea. Looking at the defence, yet again, we are very solid in that department. We've also recalled back Osho, the player which we signed from Reading. He can play right back and centre back, so we're kind of sorted in the right back area. We've got three players who can play there, James Bree, Craney, Osho, even Matty Pearson as well. And we do have Kiyoso, who's on loan at Bolton. And a lot of fans are saying, like, we should recall him back. But for me, I think he should stay at Bolton. I think he should carry on doing well there. Because he is doing extremely well at Bolton. I think if he could get promotion on his CV, I know Bolton haven't had the best of starts to the... Well, best of first half starts to the season. If they have a very good second half to the season, they could get promotion. And that would look really good on Kiyoso's CV. And he would have developed even better as a player. I just think it's best for him to stay at Bolton. I don't think he'll get much game time for us. And I do think he's a player for the future. Especially when Martin Craney's out of contract in the summer. I do think he will be Martin Craney's long-term replacement at right back. The centre-backs, you've got Bradley, Pearson, Lockyer and Osho. We're quite sorted at the back. Left back, you've got Norrington Davis, Dan Potts and Galloway. Galloway may actually go out on loan, if I'm being honest. He hasn't played at all, really. He had a very serious injury, so he may actually go out on loan. I'd be very surprised to not actually see him leave the club, if I'm being honest, during this month. Looking at the midfield, we've got loads of midfielders. So we're quite sorted in the midfield, in the defence and in the goalkeeper department. It's actually in the attack is where I believe we need to... Get someone in. Now, I don't think we're going to have a busy transfer window. I think we're just going to sign one or two players. If we sign more than two players, I'd be very surprised if I'm being honest. I think the problem this season for us, I wouldn't say it's a problem because it hasn't affected us too much. But if we want to climb up the table, we need to score more goals and create more opportunities for us to do that. Going forward... Has been good at times, but not been consistent enough. We rely on one man to score the goals, which is James Collins. And he hasn't had... I don't know. Would you say he's had a good season? I think he's had an okay season. He's, he's had good moments and he's also had bad moments. However, we can't just rely on him to score the goals. We need other players around him also providing the goals. But they've not really been doing it recently. Well, they haven't really been doing it since the start of the season. So we kind of need to bring in someone who's going to help us, well, one, score goals and two, create more opportunities. So that could be a striker or that could be a winger. Now, depending on what type of system we play going forward will determine if we need a striker or do we need a wide player? Because if we're just playing with one striker up top, then you don't need four strikers at the club. We've got Danny Hilton and we've got Sam Nombe. However, if we change our style and play with two strikers up top, then you're going to need four strikers because you need two players for every position. I think the main objective in the January transfer window will be to find someone who can potentially challenge Collins, who can try and outscore him, who can obviously finish chances, you know, Provide competition for Collins because Collins doesn't really have competition. You know, he's got Danny Hilton, who's yet to score at this level. And he's got Sam Nombe, who hasn't really had an opportunity, in my opinion, to prove himself at this level. So he hasn't got much competition. We need to give him competition. So this is really hard for Luton because you either buy a striker or you bring a striker in on loan. Now, if you're going to bring in a striker on loan, 
Hopefully there's an option fee if we want to buy him for the future because I don't see the point in short-term success. I'm a strong believer in long-term success. So if we have to sign a, a lower league player to obviously make the step up to the championship, then that's fine. We will give him the time he needs and then hopefully he can challenge Collins position on the pitch basically what I'm trying to say is we can't just keep relying on Collins to score the goal so if we don't get a striker in then we need to bring in a wide player who's going to create chances and also is going to score a few goals themselves that's what we're looking for we need an attacking player who can help us going forward so fingers crossed Nathan and the recruitment team can bring in an attacking player that can help us going forward however this doesn't stop us recruiting in other areas in the squad now although i've already said that we don't really need to if there's a player out there who we can afford who is better than a few players at the club then why wouldn't we not bring that player in i think at times some like supporters when they see us linked with a midfielder they go we've got too many midfielders why are we bringing in another one well if we're bringing in another midfielder in that obviously is a clear indication that he's probably better than a few midfielders at the club so that does mean that a few players at the club may have to go because they can't take us to the next step. Because as a club, we want to keep progressing. So the board and the like, the recruitment team will always be looking at the players and going, who can take us to the next step? Because if you can't, then you will lose your position in the team and you will end up going. And that I can see that happening with a few players at the club who have been here for for a few seasons now. So like I was saying, if there's a defender out there who's better than Bradley, for example, then bring him in if we can afford him. If there's a player better than Pelly Roddick in midfield, bring him in. If there's a player better than Collins, bring him in, you know? If they're good enough and they're better than what we've got, bring him in if they're under the budget because we can then get rid of the players which we have at the club. I also don't want to forget the players who only have six months remaining on their deal. I think Pearson, Bradley, Collins, they're the three main players who have got six months left on their deal. I think Pelly may also have six months on his deal as well. I'm not 100% too sure on that. But we've got some key players who have got six months left on their deal. So contracts kind of need to be sorted this month. Otherwise, they will get offers from other clubs and other clubs don't have to pay for them because they're over the age of 23 and also they've got six months left on their deal. So they can go on a free. So we don't really want to allow that to happen. If a player is going to leave the club, we want at least some money for them. And also we don't want to lose our key players. There's not much to say about the January transfer window because I don't think we need many players. We've got a lot of depth in the side. We've got a lot of quality in the team. I just think we need one or two attacking players. Will we buy attacking players? Or will we bring in some players on loan to help us improve? I'm not too sure. But let me know down in the comment section, guys, which positions do you think we need to recruit in? Which areas do you think we are quite weak in? Let me know down below. Drop a like on today's video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.